Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're picking up exactly where we left off in the previous video and we're filling out the steering function. So let's come to the bottom of the function here and we'll just continue on. I'll begin with a comment. So I'll say steering inputs and we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets input dot and we want get access open and close brackets inside the brackets low speech marks and horizontal we'll come in between these two close brackets and we'll say double equals one come to the end we'll open and close again so let's get that into the comments so we'll say if input equals horizontal one in fact yeah if import in fact i'll move it there so i'll say if input horizontal equals one we'll come inside these brackets here now we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets steering value is less than the current and we want the positive angle so underscore current steering angle positive <clears throat> into the comments if steering value is less than the current angle and I'll just put positive on the end We'll come below, we'll say underscore, and we want the steering value again. We're going to say plus, then equals the steering speed times time dot delta time. Let's close that line off into the comments. We'll say then increase steering value by the steering speed and we'll come below here we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets the steering value is greater than the current steering angle positive Let's get that into the comments. If steering value is greater than current angle positive. Again, we want the steering value, but we're going to say minus equals this time the steering speed times time dot delta time let's close that off and in the comments we'll say then reduce the steering value by steering speed and then we'll come here after this close bracket so let's just copy all of that block we'll paste it in and we need to just put a minus in front of the one there so if input horizontal equals and we'll put minus one and we'll change that current steering angle negative 
we'll change that to greater than negative we'll change that to a minus there and we'll change this to reduce and we'll come to the one below we'll change this to a less than sign we want current steering angle negative and I'll copy and paste negative in there in the comments then we want to increase the steering value this time so that manages our horizontal inputs but we want to center the steering if there is no input so we'll begin this in fact I'll put a comment saying that at the top center steering and I'll put when there is no input let's come below we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets input dot get axis again again inside the brackets we want horizontal with the speech marks come in between the two close brackets double equals zero and or double and steering value is greater than zero so let's get that into the comments as well so we'll say if import horizontal equals zero I'll put the AND in capitals and steering value is greater than zero. We'll come below, we'll say underscore steering value minus equals the steering speed and this will depend on your vehicle actually we'll go and create a new variable in a moment so we'll say times time dot delta time and we'll close that line off let's come up to the top here and let's come below our other floats for this steering and create a new one steering center speed so we'll say equals and in fact how shall I write this? Steering speed we'll say center in fact let's write it as centering modifier and we'll say equals 1.5 F and I'll just put in the comments defines center modifier for the steering so let's come all the way down to the steering so you may want it to center faster or slower depending on what vehicle you are actually using you may have multiple vehicles or different types of vehicles in your project 
and uh, therefore you may want to have them all handle differently so we'll just use this actual variable here to make that change so if you wish to change just come here use that new variable and then put another times function in so now you have you can keep the steering speed the same but you can modify how quickly it returns to center just by modifying this variable here so in fact let's break it up for commenting i'll enter here we'll say then and we'll say reduce steering value by steering speed come to the line below times center modifier Uh, let's have a look at this then reduce steering value by steering speed Yeah, we'll just keep the comments as that I think that should be absolutely fine. I'm sure you can all understand it. So This just gives us a little bit more control over the way each vehicle will handle and um I often say you can go back and change some of these to private once you have found values that suit your project but this one I would recommend leaving as public so you can actually alter in the inspector if you actually using this script on a multitude of different types of vehicles within the same project so I've copied and pasted that back in and this will be quite simple we'll change that to a less than sign we'll change it in the comments less than and we just need to change this to plus we'll change the comment to increase times the center modifier And we'll save this off here and I think we'll leave it here for now and in the next lesson we'll continue on because we've still got other functions to fill out we haven't even made a start on yet and we'll just keep going so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now